Hey everyone, and welcome to Calculating Income Tax. This is at the state level. We're gonna do a income tax return for the state of Maryland. And this is part of my Calculate Net Income resource on TPT, or if you are doing the Calculate Net Pay resource on TPT, you'll have tax tables looking like this. You can find both of those at phieducator.store if you are looking for those. All right, so we're gonna do a $100,000 salary just as an example not because it's um, average income or anything like that, just because it's a nice round number. It lets us go through a bunch of brackets and we get a good idea of what calculating a Maryland state um, tax return might look like. Um, so this is not tax advice. Please consult a CPA if you have specific tax questions. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, so our salary has to have a standard deduction taken out. Maryland does have a standard deduction. And then also we've got our state taxable income. I do want to add into this form pretty soon, so you may see a update very soon, but if you do any sort of contribution to a traditional or a, sorry, a traditional IRA or 401k, uh, you would see that go in here and it would reduce your taxable income in most states, not all. I found out that, that there are some states that don't count it as a tax deduction and some that do. So you do have to check your own state to see. Maryland is one of the ones that does allow for it to um, be deducted. For the purpose of this one, we're not gonna do any contribution. All right, so I've got a salary of 100,000. The standard deduction for Maryland. Now, if you have my tax tables available, you're gonna look for the one with Maryland on it. And if you don't, you can look this up on Google. I would say look for the Nerd Wallet site. That usually is a pretty good one or go to the um, state directly like maryland.gov and look for it there. All right, so we've got Maryland standard deduction for a single person, which is what I'm doing right now, is $2,550. So we get to deduct $2,550 from our income, and that becomes our taxable income, so what Maryland is going to actually tax us on. So subtract those two numbers, and we get 97,450. So that is our state taxable income. And again, if you had a traditional contribution to an IRA, 401k, 457, 403b, it would come out now. So our state taxable income comes down, 94, sorry, 97, 450. And then we start looking at our brackets. Maryland is one of the states that has a progressive tax system, which means there are brackets. So when we look at our tax table for Maryland, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, income brackets um, that are used when calculating taxes. The first three are very small. So the first 1,000, the next 1,000, the next 1,000. So like the first $3,000 of taxable income are um, taxed at these lower percentages. And then we have a much larger bracket for the 4.75, smaller, smaller, smaller-ish, and then everything else gets lumped into the highest tax bracket. The majority of people in Maryland are probably maxing out at this 4.75%. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna fold this over so we can see our brackets nice and easily. Okay, so the first bracket holds your first $1,000. So zero to 1,000. The first $1,000 you make after the standard deduction, so we're technically at over 2,550, so 2,550 to 3,550 goes into this bracket. Our taxable income, much higher than this, so we're going to fill this one up. So we put the full 1,000 in, and the rate for this is 2%, so you're gonna multiply by 0.02, and that's gonna be your taxes out. 1,000 times 2% is $20. We've paid taxes on this 1,000, so we can subtract that from our taxable income. It's already been taxed. So we have 96, 450 left. The next bracket holds from your 1,000th dollar to your 2,000th dollar. So again, it holds 1,000. So $1,000 is what fits in here. We still have way more than that, so we're gonna fill it up once more. This one is at 3%, so 0 0.03 as a decimal, and that would be $30. The 1,000 has been taxed, so we can subtract that out. 
We now have 95,450 left. The third bracket is our last one that's kind of small. It also holds 1,000, so that your 2,000th dollar to your 3,000th dollar. And we are gonna fill that up because again, we still have way more. So 0 0.04, this is a 4% bracket. We owe $40 here. And this is true for most people. You will owe $90 from those first three. And then we really start doing our calculation for who owes what after that. So we've taxed that $1,000, subtract it out, 94, 450. Now this bracket holds from your $3,000 to 100,000. Normally what I would do for brackets is I would subtract the higher number from the previous um, amount that has been taxed because this first dollar sometimes throws people off. You wanna do it from how much has been taxed already. So 100 minus three is 97. So this bracket can hold 97,000. We have 94,000 left of taxable income. So that means we are going to put all of this in here because it is less than what the bracket maxes out at. So 94,450. The rate is 4.75%, so it's 0 0.0475. And just with a calculator, we Go for that. And we get 4486.375. And rule is gonna be that it will round to the nearest whole cent. So 0 0.375 is gonna round that seven up to an eight. So it will be 0 0.38 on an income tax return. Okay, so now there's nothing left. So we've taxed everything, so 450. So we're not gonna use any of these remaining brackets. There's nothing left to tax, we're done. We add up all of these boxes on the right-hand side. So I have the 90 plus what I just um, calculated in that last box. So 4576.38. And that is our total income tax owed for Maryland. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email, thefyeducator at gmail.com, or leave your comments in the um, comment section below. Hope that helps. And again, you can find all these resources at phieducator.store.